everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do for you this Hollywood glamour look using a few tricks that Marilyn Monroe and the Gabor sisters used to use. Um, and I paired it with this lovely bright lipstick. I know it probably comes across red, but it is not red. You will see it later. But it's like I've curled my hair again with the Irresistible Me 18 one wand, and I used that pearl one again. This is my third day hair, so it didn't look too good, it looked a bit flat. So I just put the wand through it and gave it a new lease of life. And I'm sure it will still look okay tomorrow. So if you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Okay, so uh, let's prime. All right, I'm going to use today uh, Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I thought I will start doing these tutorials with one eye already done because otherwise it takes a long time but sometimes it's difficult then to do the other eye exactly the same way. Okay. Um, I am going to use few shadows today but I will be using the Lorac Unzipped. So I'm, first of all I'm going to sweep the Uncover, which, my palette is so dirty, which is the lightest one, it's a lovely matte light shadow. I'm going to sweep it or apply it mostly on my mobile lid and then just the rest sweep all the way up, just to set that primer. And then, of course, I'm going to pack this light eyeshadow on. We'll do some more of that later. Now I'm going to take a Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and just slightly apply it above my crease, very near my eyebrow. Now I'm going to take a Makeup Geek Mocha and I'm using Blank Canvas Cosmetics E42 and I'm just going to go right underneath my socket bone and sort of try to wing it out a bit towards the tail of your eyebrow and now I'm sticking this point of the brush in there and just go back and forth just don't go um, onto the light color Okay, after that, I'm going to take angle brush. It could be any um, eyebrow brush or whatever you like. And I'm going to define that crease a bit more. And for that, I will take the Untamed. And I'm going to follow the underneath of my socket bone. And then I'm going to feather it up a bit. Don't go down. Then take again my Blank Canvas Cosmetics brush and blend it out. And don't go below it, don't go down because we want that white to be white. And we want to see this cut crease. And I'm going to be going back again to that shadow and I've done it with the wrong brush but it doesn't matter. This one is actually thinner. Just 
just keep going to that dark eye shadow and define, keep defining that crease. Um, I'm going to take the angle brush again and go into Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear, which is a very warm reddish brown, and go over that crease. So I sort of don't want it to be too warm and too cool, so I'm mixing the two colours together and keep blending it up. So I hope you can see that shape. We want our eye to go up, especially because we have hooded eyes. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough. I'm going to go back in with a small flat brush into the undercover, that white one, and again whiten this white up to the crease so the crease really pops out. You can really see the crease. Okay, now on a pencil brush, I'm going to take Bobbi Brown Wheat and I'm going to shade um, the underneath of my eye. And I'm going to stop right where my eyelashes stop. Then I'm going to take the, uh, the same angle brush where I had Cocoa Bear on and just to warm it up a bit. And then I'm going to take the thinner one, I mean another angled brush, and with whatever I have left here, I'm going to make a little line just going off. I don't know how to explain it really. Just sort of going slightly down. Will open up our eye and that's what they were using those days to make their eyes look bigger okay now the eyeliner I'm going to use the uh, Lorac Pro front of the line isn't it yeah and how I'm going to start first I'm just going to draw a very thin line to where my eyelashes end I'm not winging it at the moment and you will see later on So make it very thin first, very near the lash line. And just finish just before the end of your eyelashes. Now, those days they used to sort of, well, especially Marilyn, uh, Marilyn used to round the middle of her eyeliner. So make like a little dome because that made her eyes a bit rounder. Like this. This um, liquid liner is amazing. It's so easy to work with. The tip is nice and bendy. It's not too wet, it's not too black. You can build it up. I love it for like a... So you could, you should all try it. Okay. Now I am going to put, I should really find a white one, but I don't have any more white um, eye pencil, but I've got a flesh colored one, which is from Rimmel and it's called Nude. And I'm, and I'm going to apply that in my inner rim because that makes your eyes bigger as well. And I'm going to extend it just by that line here, almost like in a triangle, because that will brighten up this area and open the eye this side as well. 
and now I'm going to do lashes so I'm going to use my mascara first just use whatever mascara you like I'm using the Kiko Ultra Tech now we'll do the bottom lashes And I will let, wait for the mascara to dry so I can apply false lashes. And again, I'm going to use the Isla by Flair de Force Flair Labs lashes, which are the three quarters, because I want the emphasis on the end of the eye. I'm using my um, Eskido Lashes Lash Glue, which is latex free. If you are allergic to latex, I really love this glue. It's my favorite glue. I'm lifting the outer edge a bit up, not on my lash line, to lift the eye. And then when they stack, I'm pushing them up. I've shown you this before. And you can sort of see this little gap here. I don't know if you can see because I've I've stacked these lashes a bit higher, not following my lash line because that will make my eye look droopy. I have hooded droopy eyes. But we will fix that now with the liner again because now I can see where my lashes are. That's where I will go with the liner. So I'm going to go a bit rounded again here. And then just where my lash is going, I'm going to make the wing. It is a bit tricky because obviously you already have lashes on. But that's why this liner is so good. Because it's got quite long There, and then I'm going to go again in here with that white pencil just under that line to highlight it more. And that's our eyes done. Now I can't decide what lipstick to do. As it is Hollywood Glamour, I should go for red. I think I've got just one red lipstick. I don't even know if I've got red lip liner. I used to have one, but I gave it away. So I might use um, I might use something different. Okay, so I might use this one. Actually, a lot of people suddenly been watching one of my older makeup videos in which I was wearing this lipstick, and I totally forgot forgot about it. And on the camera, it comes across quite red, but it is not. It is I don't know if you can see it from here. It is like a I don't know, very plummy fuchsia. I really don't know how to explain. It's a beautiful colour. So I'm going to use the NYX um, lip liner in Bloom. And this is the Bourjois uh, Matte Finish Velvet. <laughs> Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet. And mine is in Pink Pong. So... I think that's why I don't use matte dark lipsticks because you you have to be so precise otherwise it just shows. This is so gorgeous but you know what this smells to me like mushrooms. <laughs> don't know why but it smells to me like mushrooms. I like mushroom smell. 
these are beautiful these are matte but they feel so creamy i don't know how to explain just make sure that you don't take too much on it first Just build it up. You could use it really without a lip liner because you can be so precise with this. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.